Hello, this is Daniel G. Bennis, and um, I never throw anything away unless it has, like, a reason to be thrown away. So, um, therefore, I have a bunch of stuff that, that, like, could potentially be used for something in the future. Um, it borders on the, on, on the hoarding, but when it's used for science, um, it's kind of justified. However, so today I'm cleaning, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to throw something away that I've had, that I've been hanging on to for a very long time. I have been hanging on to these table tennis balls and so these little these little uh, ping pong balls here um, have an amazing property and I decided you know what I'm tired of seeing them I have never gotten around to my little experiment so I'm going I'm going to just go ahead and throw them away and then I thought no I'm gonna go do something else uh, much more spectacular with them so I'm gonna show you now again their uh, amazing property so just watch so here we have a piece a uh, piece of tin foil and I'm going to uh, Make this into a quick, rudimentary bowl. Just something that will hold the ping pong balls in place. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to take these ping pong balls and I'm going to dump them in the center. And these guys here, dump them in there as well. And last but not least, we have some colorful ping pong balls. It's almost a shame to, to do this to these. Don't worry, I've kept a few of them behind. Okay, so, there they are, sitting in here, minding their own business. So what is so amazing about these guys, uh, you ask? Watch and learn. Ordinary lighter. Well, it's not an ordinary lighter, it's, it's a... It's a Daniel Bennis lighter. It's a jet lighter. So here we go. I'm going to light one of these guys on fire, and here we go. Let's see what happens. Interesting. They apparently are amazingly flammable. Okay. Okay. That is a lot of heat energy coming off of ping pong balls. And uh, if you take a look at the residue, despite the fact that this tinfoil is in, insanely hot, um, yeah, there's nothing left but a little bit of powder. So there you go. An amazing property that ping pong balls have is that they're made from nitrocellulose. Cellulose that's been treated with nitric acid and sulfuric acid. What does that mean? Nitroglycerin is just a very small chemical equation away from the formula for ping pong balls, um, as well as the old film that was used in uh, in movies in the uh, throughout most of the early 19th uh, century. So let's make it the 20th century. Let's just go ahead and make it the 20th century. Anyway, so there you go. I um, hope you enjoyed that. Over and out. By the way, don't try that at home, all right?